Hello, I am Esther Nkechinyere Odunze and welcome to my life as NK Vibes. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, all my love for you. And if you are seeing me for the first time, welcome to my family. Please click on the red button, subscribe to my channel, like this video and please share your comments with me in the comment section. So from my last video about a checklist of what to take to the Nigerian Law School, I got so many questions regarding accommodation in Enugu. So I for one, I stayed off campus during my time in the law school and I have something to say about the pros and cons of on-campus accommodation or off-campus accommodation and that's what this video is going to be about. Please stay with me and I hope you enjoy. Forgive the little vanity. So in Enugu campus, there are three hostels. We have the Adam and Eve hostel, the Banana Island hostel, and the Blue Roof hostel. So this is the Adam and Eve hostel. There is a part of the building that is for female. That's where I currently am. And there's another part of it that's for males. So this is what the three in a room looks like. See the wardrobe. They are just two wardrobes and that's very annoying. So the first two people that enter the room, they get to pick the wardrobe and then they can decide to share with the last person to enter the room. There's that part for your box. So this is, I think this is a better view. This room, they even used carpet. See, they used newspaper for their wardrobe. You can see carpet on the floor. So their room is more organized. So by the time you get there, actually, you can decide to redesign your room to suit your taste. That's if your roommates um agree with it if they cooperate you guys can actually make the room more beautiful to suit your personality and all so this is what the three in a room looks like okay so this is what the toilet looks like and the way they made the building is that you have to share toilet there's a three-man room sharing toilet with a five-man room so eight people in total have to share a bedroom and toilet so this room now this one that i said they designed their room they have to share toilet with the five-man room beside them and you guys can make a share in a way that everybody will have to wash toilet and bedroom at least maybe once or twice in a week depending on how hygienic you guys decide to be so that's how the whole toilet situation works so this is what the five person in a room looks like forgive the way it's looking it's actually supposed to look better than this it's because everybody already moved out i made this video the day before i left enugu finally so campus was already empty so in this room if you notice it is big it's bigger than the three person in a room room you see they have two wardrobes and then one wardrobe has two sections the other wardrobe too has two sections the person who comes to the room last that's the last person to enter the room is at a disadvantage because then you have to look at look for the person that will decide to share their wardrobe with you so you can also put your stuff if not you would have to put your stuff on that upper part of the wardrobe just manage to put your stuff there or put it under your bunk so this is what the room looks like and this five person in a room they share toilet with the three person in a room so all together eight people share one bedroom and one toilet so that's how accommodation on campus goes so this is the male hostel this is the blue roof hostel i know everywhere looks bushy but you can't judge only by this video i made this video when campus was already empty people had already left campus so this is how their room looks like it's almost similar to the adam and eve hostel see the five person in a room room you see you can see tables and chairs at least two people can share this table another two people too we share that table too the last person <laughs> will know how to sort themselves see their wardrobe outside you shared too and this is their bedroom too so like you they also have to share bedrooms too so the setup is just similar to the adam and eve hostel so welcome welcome to my apartment <laughs> so this is a one bedroom flat we rented it for 250k and we shared it amongst us we had three that rented the apartment so this is the living room I and jennifer shared this this is the dining 
area so our fridge was there and then my reading table and chair was there too this is what our kitchen looks like this is the storeroom for our food stuff we had cabinets in the kitchen the kitchen was not so big but i mean it was enough for us and this is the bedroom Pussy was the one staying in the bedroom so she had a smaller bed we had that green drum to store water for times when there wouldn't be light see our wardrobe it's quite spacious then there's that upper part where we put our boxes there's a small veranda that was where we used to put the green drum and then our bedroom our bedroom was not so big sharp but we also had another and uh, we had a visitor's toilet outside so you could decide to use the bedroom inside the room or the one outside so this is it <laughs> I know that from the video I just shared now, I know some, some of you, you're already forming your opinions already. I know the hostels are so much. You can't compare it to Lagos hostel. You can't compare it to Yola campus. You can't compare it to Abuja. Those are headquarters babies. And you can't even compare it to the new um, campus. That's the Portacourt campus. So I know you already have, you're already forming opinions. But now I've already made a list of the pros and cons of the hostel accommodation against the off campus accommodation so from my video you already know the adam and eve hostel you already know the blue roof hostel and then if we have the three in a room we have the five in a room so the first thing is the power supply for hostel accommodation the power supply is regulated anyone doesn't really have nepal light so they use generators mostly so 7 a.m to 2 p.m or till when classes end there will definitely be light so they are going to take it then bring it back 7 p.m till 12 a.m so between that um three to like seven or two to seven um, p.m there won't be light and in the midnight so from 12 a.m till 7 a.m there won't be light so i don't know if that's a prayer i don't know if that's a con but against the off-campus accommodation now, light in Enugu or in Agbani, that's where the law school is located, is terrible. Like, like there are some days where people can have like for like 48 hours straight up and then there, are, there will also be days where like for like 3 days, you won't see, like your bulb will not come out with Nepal light at all. So the only option is that you'd have to get a generator. So for me, when I was in the law school, I, I had a generator that I bought with my flatmate. So we had a generator, you'd have to fill the generator and get that kind of thing. So that's one thing that's not really great about the off-campus accommodation. And the, th the annoying thing about generators is that they make a lot of noise. So when you're not putting on generator in your own flat, the generators from other people's flats will even be stressing you are like, like at first i was always having a dick like why are there so many generators in this house but then the light is bad the only way people can cope is to put on generators so that's one disadvantage of off-campus accommodation and on-campus accommodation too doesn't really have that much advantage in that area because the light is shady but at least it is still better at least i know that from this time to this time there will be light on like off campus where it's not set in at all so that's the one so the second one is the rooms are small for hostel accommodation the rooms are small you've already seen the video that three in a room like what's that how do they think people manage that room like there's just one bunk and then there's a smaller bed like there's no there's even there's no space for tables and chairs only one person that can bring in tables and chair like the three of you can't put tables and chairs once you put tables and chairs on that road like it would be so hard for anybody to move like the rooms are small and if you're the kind of person that you like space you like to like move around in your room or more that's a no-no so that's what off-campus accommodation has over that over hotel accommodation in that regard i mean if you are renting a cell phone outside campus you have your room to yourself it is a class that you, bring, you you are going to be sharing with your friends you will still have space on like that campus among that campus is in fact i think i think the five in the room is even better the room is bigger at least three people can even manage to put you know put their tables and chairs and you people can share you look for a way around this but you see that three in a room i don't know people prefer three in a room because oh they are less humans to deal with but i still prefer five in a room because the room is more spacious than the three in the room so that's it so another one is no privacy you you can you cannot expect privacy on campus and the way the rooms are in any way that like the rooms are connected so one room another room there's a toilet in between so a five a five-man room is here 
there's a toilet and then there's a three-man room so the five-man room and the three-man room they share one toilet and bedroom so eight people share one toilet and bedroom <laughs> if you are not lucky your roommates or the next door people they are going to they, they might just be messy people like i mean you guys can form a calendar on how to be cleaning toilet and everything but if you are unlucky and you have dirty people or more it's going to really be a shitty year so you don't have your privacy because there are so many so many people in your business they can come from that other room to your room the toilets can be dirty if they are not as clean as you are and you cannot really be the only one doing it. even if you are a clean person you can't be the only one cleaning every time you would have to pay like the cleaners to come and clean the room so there's just that part on like on campus accommodation you are not so sure of the type of roommates you are going to have so you are compromising on your privacy you are comp compromising on your standard of hygiene there's just that part while as opposed to off-campus accommodation you could be the only one in your room or even if you are sharing a room you guys will know how to like undo yourself oh you will clean the toilet this week I, I will do it this week you get that kind of thing so for campus accommodation you can say bye bye <laughs> say bye bye to privacy say bye bye to oh I can't enter your wet bedroom oh I don't like when people spill or something <laughs> All those things we have for you can't fight because <laughs> if you fight if you argue it's query if they report you it's query so there's that part of on, of campus accommodation that's a disadvantage of campus accommodation i hope you are following so another is food i mean that's the major advantage of um off campus accommodation all through law school i was always cooking i would wake up by like 6 a.m to make my food so i bought gas we even carried fridge we had toaster so we used to make like toast bread we like i used to eat good food and i used to carry my food to class like people were like ah, ah, why are you always bringing this type of food ah, i stay off campus i cook in fact i used to carry food for my friends too sometimes for my friends that are staying on campus i used to carry i used to take food to them so i ate well in law school because i was staying off campus i had the time to be cooking like because the first time in fact the first time i bought food on campus like i poured that day, i bought one barbecue chicken like that i poured so since that day i stopped buying food so i used to make my food so if you are very big on food if you are very particular about what you eat then i'm going to advise you to stay off campus because that way you can like make your food yourself but as soon as you stay in the hostel cooking utensils are not allowed so you cannot cook in the hostel you you have to buy food there's no option to cook food i know i heard that some people carry gas or some people used to use this hot water jug to cook noodles <laughs> i don't know about those ones so and if they had caught them that would have been automatic query and you re like you only have three queries once you have that three queries like anything your eyes see you take it they might not even allow you write the exam so you don't want to be like dragging query just because you want to cook noodles or something so if you are very particular about your food then i'll advise off-campus accommodation so another is when you are going on holidays so i don't know if it is central to all other campuses but in enugu campus like when you are going home you have to carry all your stuff home like you can't leave things on campus you can't leave things in the hostel you can't even say you want to lock your wardrobe you have to carry all your belongings and take them home so that is the advantage that people that are staying off campus have over people that are staying on campus like when we had to travel for externship our friends from campus accommodation they had to come to our room to come and drop their load to come and drop their balls drop their buckets and stuff in our own flat while we, we just left our stuff we locked our we locked our flat and then we traveled back to lagos you get that kind of thing so there is that advantage that when the, whenever they ask us to leave campus so i don't have to be running oh where do i want to carry my loads where do i want to put my loads so, so that's an advantage for off-campus accommodation and a disadvantage for on-campus accommodation so another is security security of on-campus is definitely better i mean you see security men everywhere running they don't carry guns Chad. they don't carry guns so you don't have to fear one you don't have to be scared that one drunk guard will do anything stupid they don't carry guns but then they are always patrolling so security is better off campus too it's not like you know i already mentioned that it is very close to like it's just like five minutes walk so even in the night i used to walk like around 9 30 in the night it's not it's not that scary but you still cannot compare campus security to off campus um security you get that kind of thing so i mean and there was one time that they actually kidnapped some of our classmates they kidnapped 
two of our classmates yeah two of our classmates around that around that boundary to like 10 minutes away from campus so then people got scared and shy people that were staying off campus me i was always, my friends were always like oh leave campus from 7 a from 7 pm no stay on campus you don't know what we happen but really nothing happened like there was really never any gist of somebody being maimed or any or somebody being robbed along that law school road except for all those guys that they kidnapped and that was like a way away from campus you understand that kind of thing so security is better on campus but off campus is still safe it's just that my only fear about off campus um, accommodation in the night is that i was always scared of snakes you would when you get to school they would, they would tell you about snakes in enugu and that's very true like there are many snakes in enugu so there's always that fear of ah let me not go and step on snake go let me not go and, like sometimes you just like you'll be walking on the road like in the morning you see that oh a car already ran over one snake maybe in the night or something like oh, every week oh, you shall see snake that car crushed you understand that kind of thing so there's that there's that fear of snake then there's the fear of ah everywhere is too dark but about being robbed or being killed or something like there was not that much fear in that regard so campus is safe off campus is safe too it's just that there's that there's a heightened level of security on campus you understand so that's the vibe another thing is transportation so the thing about staying off campus is even though it is close to campus in the mornings you know you probably are wearing a tight gown or you don't even want to be you don't want to sweat like you don't want to sweat so you have to take bike bike from off campus to campus is 100 naira sometimes 150 it's majorly 100 naira it's only 150 when you are going further you get that kind of thing so if you are staying off campus you would have to like take that into consideration the fact that oh you'd have to spend maybe like 200 every day on transportation i for me i was lucky <laughs> we had rich neighbors like they were our classmates too shout out to mr ne shout out to sharon and then the other our other neighbors too i think mr mr jerry and so, so they had cars so they used to like carry us to school sometimes they will bring us back or we we'll just trek back you get that kind of thing so if you are staying off campus you would have to consider uh, um transportation that's the 200 naira per day or you bring your own car so there's that part i've also mentioned snakes <laughs> i've mentioned snakes there's snake everywhere there's snake on campus there's snake off campus but i think it's worse off campus on that law school road like ah, every day be careful, you don't want to just carry. Be careful, they kill snake or don't step on snake. You get that kind of thing. So that's just that. But personally, personally, I enjoyed off campus, especially because of the space I had to myself. I had that freedom. I could even vlog because I had like I used to use the dining room from as my studio. I could eat good food. I could invite my friends from campus. Like ah, you guys, let's just come around and come and vibe. So I really enjoyed staying off campus too. But I think there's this sense of seriousness that staying on campus instills in you. Like everybody is reading, so you you are ginger. But if you're if you're a self motivated person. It does not matter whether you're staying on campus or off campus but if you're the kind of person that you draw inspiration from other people then on campus will be better because there you see people that are reading overnight you see people that they don't need to sleep in their room it's only in tutorial room that they used to go and sleep so they will read read yeah. so if you are the kind of person that you you seek motivation from other people then campus might actually be a better option for you because there you will be gingered and then another thing is that because of the group meetings group meetings take like it's from like 6 30 p.m to like eight o'clock so if you're a kind of person that you don't like to stress yourself maybe after class like class is from like nine o'clock to like four o'clock and you're like why should i go off campus when meeting is for 6 30 let me just stay on campus if you're that type of person you might want to consider hostel accommodation so that way you don't have to stress about going off campus and then having to come back to campus me it was not really that much of a big deal whenever i'm tired i'll just go to my room on campus or go to my friend's room if not i'll go off campus come back it's not like it's that far you get that kind of thing so it just depends on your personality now so um my my just my own point is that if you are a self-motivated person you are not scared that oh i'm going to fall asleep oh i'm not going to be reading and i enjoy good food i can afford generator for when there is no light then 
off campus is a good option for you but if you're the kind of person that you want to stay among students you want to stay amongst people that will ginger you to read you don't mind buying food you don't mind the lack of privacy you can adapt to the cold water that kind of thing then you can just stay on campus yeah i should have mentioned that earlier any good weather is crazy like when it is cold it is extremely cold when it is hot it is extremely hot I, like it's very surprising i never knew i used to think it was only the north that had that kind of weather but it was super cold in enugu and since you cannot use hot appliances you cannot use electric appliances you can, you have to bathe with cold water you have to go and buy hot water from mommy market but if you are staying off campus take hot tea hot coffee you bathe with hot water <laughs> you get that kind of thing so there was that advantage that we had that we had over um, hostel accommodation people but really that's just it i mean if i stayed off campus too if, if i stayed on campus i don't think it would have been a bad idea too so i'm a 50 50 person regarding it like regarding the accommodation thing i don't mind off campus i don't mind on campus accommodation it just depends mostly on your personality so i hope i've helped you <laughs> to make a good decision i hope that you can like watch this video as slowly as you can then try to like understand my point and let it inform your decision about whether to stay on campus or off campus thank you for watching this video if you watch up to this point please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and as i promised in my other video i'll try to make this channel as useful as possible for the law school students so thank you i'll see you in my next video bye